Why are they pushing it in? I think you got this from the scrapyard. It's got no interior, mate. So today we're going to be converting a car that comes all the way from Japan. Now, despite it travelling halfway around the world, this busted whip can't even get out the driveway. But all that's going to change. So get ready to say konnichiwa to a pimped out car. We're back, baby. It's Pimp My Ride! My name's Kieran, I'm 20 years old, and this is my ride. So I've lived in Grimsby pretty much my whole life, and right now I'm just doing 12-hour shifts in a factory. I hate doing 12-hour shifts in a factory, but it's all worth it in the end, because every penny ends up going into this. Since seeing the Fast and the Furious when I was about five years old, I've always wanted a 1990s Japanese tuna car, and this is exactly that. It's loud, it's bright purple, and it's just really cool. This is my first ever car, and pretty much everything that's been done to it has been done on my driveway. I did the wrapping myself, so as you can probably see, there are a lot of imperfections. My friends love nothing more than to just peel random pieces of my wrap off. I'm Adam, and I'm Karen's best friend. Karen is very proud of his car. He, he likes to think he's come a long way with it. I mean, it's bad, but I don't think it's that bad. Does it run? <laughs> <laughs> With all the money he's put into the car, it's just sort of taking a toll on his bank balance. So to have it pimped up, it's going to totally turn it around for him. So when did you first pass your driving test? Uh, I, I haven't really done that yet. I can't really afford lessons with how much money I've been spending on the car. <laughs> MTV really need to pimp my ride so I can stop pouring money into it and start pouring money into driving lessons. Please, MTV, pimp my ride. He's got a Japanese import, but the thing don't drive. Kieran hit us up, so let's pimp his ride. Kieran's GTO is ready. Now it's time to get his car down to the Palace of Pimpin' Rent Studios. Our garage has been in the game for over 10 years, and within that time, they've become one of the hottest car modification specialists in the UK. I'm Hamid and I'm the CEO of Wrench Studios. My team and I are experts. Anything you guys want to do to your car from the interior, boot bills, modification, body kit, you name it and we do it. People ask me what I do and I say I pimp rides for a living. We are going to be meeting Kieran, who's come all the way from Grimsby. What on earth happened here? Well, my gearbox is broke and the fact that I can't drive it. Describe in one word how you feel to be a part of Pimp My Ride 2022. Ecstatic. Why are they pushing it in? <laughs> All right, hopefully it's turbo. What are they, GTO? Mm. Who do you think is driving this thing? Question. Suspension, wheels, color. Someone that's into the car scene-ish. You've put a lot of love and heart and soul in this car, I can tell. Yeah. As soon as people see it in person, they go, it looks so much better in photos. Ah, uh, what you do? You put your filters on up, you wear the filters. Just, you know, just, just stand a few feet back and take a photo of it, and it, uh, you know, it look, looks a little bit better. I think you got this from a scrapyard. It's got no interior, mate. <laughs> well, you could have at least got the air bubbles out. So I think yeah. the whole car's been sanded down, hasn't yeah. been repaired properly, and they've just wrapped over it to make it look pretty. Yeah, it's gonna need a lot of work. Yeah. Hell of a lot of work. Is there anything you want to keep? I'm a really big fan of my current wheels. They took me months and months to find. What do you think of the wheels? They're pretty sick. Old school, Volks, Japanese wheels. They've been around for time. Probably the best part about the car. Probably the most expensive part about the car as well. Yeah. So do you have any ideas, any colours, any schemes? Ruby stone red. It's basically bright pink. That's interesting. I like bright colours. I just like, you know, a car that really stands out. I think Ruby stone red is going to pop. If you've ever seen, you know, like the first two Fast and Furious movies, you know, yeah. the crazy body kit. So you want Fast and Furious 2022? Effectively, yeah. It's a real shame this isn't a turbo to be six. Just imagine, big turbo, pipes coming out the hood, flames shooting all over. <laughs> so the good news is that you're leaving your car with us and it's going to look incredible when it's finished. And unfortunately, the bad news is that means you have to catch the bus, babe. Well, it's nothing unusual for me, is it? <laughs> <laughs> See you later. See ya. He's so cute and innocent. What's happening, guys? Yo, what's, what's going good? on? What's happening? Yo. So this is owned by a boy called Kieran. He's only a baby, bless him, he's 20 years old. 
He loves his Japanese cars. Also, he hasn't officially passed his test yet. Hold up, Kieran hasn't even got a license, and we're pimping his ride. It's got the, it's got the style. Like he's giving me Back to the Future kind of vibes with the, the lights that pop up like that. Yeah. Anything he told you he wants in particular? A fast and furious car. I'm a huge fan of Japanese sports cars. This one's gonna be special. <laughs> Kay, what's under the hood, man? Talk to me. But the question is, what's not under the hood? <laughs> We're probably looking to squeeze in a bit more power out of it, make it perform the way it looks. Interior-wise, you brought me a car with no interior. We're gonna have to sort that out. All right. Little does Kira know, we're gonna be turning this from slow and curious to fast and furious. So Inda, talk to me about the bodywork. Right, so I've had a little look around it. Obviously the wrap is peeling everywhere. I mean, it is an old car, so I imagine there's a lot of rust underneath as well. We'll first have to strip that wrap off, have yeah. a look at the condition, and then we'll go from there. There's so many bubbles on this wrap, it might as well have been bubble wrap. What's his favorite colors? Ruby stone red. Diego, talk to me about the color. He wants a ruby red. What's your opinion? Well, I think this color will suit this car, you know, because it's gonna keep the retro nights looking, you know? Yeah. So I think it will suit this car. Ruby stone red is a bold choice. I'm liking Kieran's energy. Big Dom, talk to me about the wheels, man. The Sick Wheels SE37, so we can make it work, keep it on the car. Maybe we might lower the car a tad if he wants that Fast and Furious look. Yeah, we'll probably just keep these wheels. I All think right. they look pretty sick, yeah. Wow, I guess I'm gonna leave you guys to it then. Make Kieran proud. That's See it. You later, See, See you later, guys. Let's get on with it, guys. Let's, Let's do it. That. Come on. Time to take the wrap off the GTO. Let's see what the bodywork is underneath. It's not the perfect wrap, but he's definitely stuck it on well. So what charge did a jazz a small dream leave it blown up large? I'm all out. When the car first came in, it wasn't running. We diagnosed that to be a gearbox fault. We're gonna get rid of the old naturally aspirated engine. We're gonna go with a forced induction engine. It's just gonna look the part, go the part, and everything's gonna come together nicely with this well, twin turbo V6. Yeah, it's gonna be what, it, what the GTO should be. So we're about to turbo Karen's GTO. That being said, you can't have a turbo without a sunroof. So the boys have got a crazy plan. We're gonna be chopping Karen's roof. So we're going to be welding in an original moonroof. After we peeled off the wrap, um, I mean, it was shocking to be fair. He's obviously put the wrap on it just to make it look pretty. Underneath the wrap, we had lacquer peeling everywhere, which is coming off with the wrap. So I imagine it's been painted before pretty poorly. There was loads of different colours underneath. So we smoothed it all down. A little bit of filler work here and there on the dents. As you can see, it's all primed up now. We're gonna lay on that lovely ruby red. It's gonna look amazing. I'm sure Kieran's gonna love this job once it's done. I mean, it's a color that definitely suits him. He's gonna be over the moon with it. Inde and Mario have been working around the clock on this GTO's bodywork, and it is looking smooth. Yo, Yas. Yo, my name's Yas. I've worked at Wrench for about a year now, and I'm the logistics manager. Since Kieran wants to keep these wheels, we need to find a cleaning kit ASAP, yeah? Yeah, that's cool, man. I'll jump on there and get it sorted. All right, let's do it. Without me, without all of this, this place will fall apart. Kieran's got a real good taste in wheels. I like these. Now that the outside is complete, it's time to pimp out the interior. Time for Leon to get the speakers popping. We want to keep it as light and nimble as we can. Hence what we've gone with a slightly smaller sound system. We're going to be producing two subwoofer boxes, one in each corner, and we're going to do a nice elevated amp build in the middle. Yes, it's lightweight and simple, but it's still going to sound big. Even the seat belts are getting a ruby pimping. Goodbye, all grey seat belts. Hello, ruby stone red. When this GTO hits the road, that ruby stone red is gonna pop. Oh, 
That's nice. With these new comfy seats installed, Kieran's never gonna wanna leave his car. We're all feeling the pressure, but I'm confident we're gonna get this done in time. We've only got a few hours left. Really need to get this finished. Japan have just called and they want the GTO back. There's no chance. When Kira's GTO was dragged into the Wrench Studios on the back of a tow truck, it was looking more rusty and ruined than Fast and Furious. But finally, the wait is over. Are you ready? Kira! Hi. My man. How are you feeling? Really excited, yeah. if you can't tell. I can tell. <laughs> yeah. And the main question, how are you going to get this car home? So I've, I've done a few lessons since I've last been here, and I've actually got my test in a week. OK. Should we go check it out? I think we should. Let's go. <laughs> you ready? Let's go. Oh, the time has come, Kieran. Look at your baby. Dad, so what are you saying? Yes, Kieran, what's going on? <laughs> You're right. Oh. Huh? He's You're proper excited, huh? Kieran. You came in with your car. Came didn't with work. Half a car. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm ready. Boys, ready? Yeah. Oh! This is so exciting. This is actually the most exciting thing. Three, two, so exciting. one. Hey! Oh my god, it's the actual colour as well. <laughs> it's actually crazy. Oh, it's so cool. <laughs> Is it everything you wanted plus more? Everything I wanted and more. Oh, we love to actually hear crazy. it. Actually crazy. I think I came prepared because I matched the car. Hop in if you want. Oh, I've got back seats now. I can actually <laughs> fit people in. Yes. But listen, I think we should go and chat to Hamid because he's got so much to show you about this car. Come over here, come over oh. here. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much. Yeah. Remember your rap? Yeah. <laughs> it was all right but it had to go. We've sprayed it really red. That's actually perfect. Inside out, the whole work. It's like the, the wheels that I loved as well. Wow. We had to keep those on. There was only one thing you loved about the car. We had yeah. to keep it there. I feel like I'm dreaming, genuinely. Like, I, I feel like <laughs> someone's going to wake me up. <laughs> as you know, your gearbox was gone, so we had to get a new gearbox. We said, why not go the extra mile, get you the engine that you want. We've taken your old NA engine out. Yeah. We swapped it with a twin turbo. We're yay! <laughs> wow. <laughs> so we've taken it from 180 brake horsepower straight to 320 brake. Ooh. <laughs> That's crazy. We've wow. also given you a straight through exhaust system. Come through, let me show you. It's like my little baby. Now he's going to go off into the big world with his perfect dream car. So to match the exterior, we've also spiced up your interior. Remember your seats? Yeah, my ripped sort yeah. of non-working seats. We've seat. given you new leather seats with matching interior. You've got the new head unit, you've got the new Alcantara steering wheel, you've got the matching seat belts. It's actually, like, it's so comfortable now and the texture and just... <laughs> it's it's the crazy. New route, yeah? Alcantara. Oh, look at all the light wow. it brings through. This wow. banging. Put your hand on the handle there. Yeah. Spin it open. Oh, it's... Oh, oh my God. Wee. Yeah, that's Pano Roof. <laughs> I that's like it. this. That is actually crazy. There's one more thing, Kieran. Let me show you. Ah, you got a 24-inch LCD monitor. You've got two 10-inch subwoofers, two apps. You've got six by nines in the doors. People definitely gonna hear you before they see you. This is I, a lot to take thank in. Thank you so much. For this. <laughs> so, Kieran, there's only one more thing to say. You've officially been pimped. Oh, f thank you so much, like, somehow you've managed to turn the worst GTO in the country to definitely the best one, like, crazy. Well, hold on, how are you going to get that home if you don't drive yet? That's a good idea. <laughs> I'm probably going to have to ring my dad, aren't I? Yep, get on the oh. blower. It's a bit awks. Hello, uh, Dad, I need picking up. What do you think? Looks fantastic. Do you fancy driving it home? Yeah. <laughs> Twin turbo. Break that, break that, break that, break that. This car is totally me. I've always wanted to... Oh. Mm. 
This car is definitely me. It's... Oh, f it's... Oh. Despite you travelling all halfway around the world and say konnichiwa to a limped out car. Uh, See you soon. See you later. I thought we went for a handshake. Ruby red, stone, pink, blue, slash, you know what I'm saying. You might want to put the seat forward. Don't know, adjust the seat. <laughs>